Hey gang, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the new Wilson Combat ETM-V, Vickers Duty Mag. This is a magazine I've been working on with Wilson Combat for a while. Let me take you through it. The issue with most 1911 magazines, frankly, is they have inherent design flaws from back in the day or they were developed for competition use. One of the big things about it is, frankly, there's too many holes in the magazine and that allows debris to get in the magazine. So one of the first things that I asked Wilson to do was take the magazine tube and seal it up as much as possible. Now we still have the opening at the top, obviously, for the follower and you have a slot on the side to engage the magazine release. But other than that, all the other holes are sealed up with the exception of one. There's a hole in the back to show when you have eight rounds in the magazine and then there's a caliber marking for 45 ACP. That's it. One of the things I've learned over the years, being a consultant in the firearms industry, is when you're both your magazine and your gun, you need to have them as sealed as possible to the outside elements. It makes a big difference for functional reliability. Now, next thing is we took the follower and we molded some grooves into it. Theory behind this is so if debris gets inside the tube, the follower will have the ability to slide past the debris and the grooves allow the debris to shift past the follower. Also, it tracks up and down inside the tube better for less friction. So this is a pretty slick upgrade. Wilson's has been playing with the flat wire spring for the magazines for a while now and we've incorporated it in the Vickers Duty magazine. It gives you longer service life and one of the things I like about the flat wire spring, it seems to be more positive when the mag runs dry, locking the slide to the rear. So overall, I think this is a positive addition. The base plate. The standard base plate is steel, it's been somewhat lightened and it's also lengthened. So if you are using the magazine for duty use, you have the ability to grab a hold of it, say with your gloves on and pry it out of the gun if need be. Now for some individuals, this is gonna be a little bit too long. Some of the other base plates on Wilson magazines will interchange. So if you need something lower profile, say for a carry gun, and if you don't have a magwell on your pistol, then you can go with one of the other base plate options. But this is a critical part of the standard Vickers duty mag for those individuals who are carrying a 1911 in service use. The ETM-V Vickers duty magazine. I think it's gonna be the new gold standard for 1911 serious use magazines on the market today. Check it out at wilsoncombat.com. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one, LAV out.